Here is the recipe for Tozza's sweet chilli chicken. Quick short video, people have been asking me to tell you the recipe and how to cook my sweet chilli chicken. Basically, the biggest ingredient is sweet chilli sauce, obviously. Get any, get cheap, don't matter. Um, you also want some lime juice. Now the barbecue sauces here are just my personal choice. I do highly recommend one of the Jack Daniels or the Bourbon sauces, because they're really good. Um, and like I say, any other sauces. The jerk has got a bit more spice in, so spice it how you want, make it strong, make it as weak as you want. Sweet chilli sauce can actually have a bit of bite to it. I don't like spicy food, so it's just like I say. So there's some photos with this video as well, or to follow, to show you how you do it. Then you just basically chop your chicken up, chicken breast into cubes, um, mix all them ingredients into the dish, chop your chicken, give it a stir. Now what I do recommend is you cover it. Um, ideally, you want this overnight, but at least an hour. Don't be doing it straight away and then putting it straight into the pan. Um, so yeah, that is basically all my sauces mixed together with the chicken in there. I'm now going to cover it myself and leave it. I'm going to put it in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour. And uh, then the next part of this video will be me showing you the cooking. Because the cooking is the most important part. This bit's pretty simple. And to be honest, I call it sweet chilli chicken. But you can add any sauces you want. Um, and sweet chilli sauce, by the way, goes with anything. Absolutely anything. Um, but it does make the dish. Now, like I say, that's the first bit of how to do it. It's not that hard. Um, but the covering and let it marinate is essential. As with all marinades, the longer you leave it, the better the quality of it, your chicken. And also, you do need an either a lemon juice or a lime juice to create. That helps the marinade penetrate the meat, by the way. So there you go. So I will follow up with definitely the cooking of it later on. And I'll be using a very good wok. This is essential. This is my prized possession. And um, this is a proper T-file red spot wok. It was the first thing I bought when I moved into the flat. And it, the reason it's essential is because how you cook it later that I will show you. Because to get the, the best crispy part of the chicken, that's the secret. So like I say, I'll be back in part two for the cooking of my special recipe of sweet chili chicken. See you later. Okay guys, um, this is part two, or it might be part three, part four, I don't know how this is gonna go, because I will not be able to record all the time I'm cooking, but I'll do it in intervals to show you, because it's very important how the thing looks in the pan, because you're actually gonna look at it at some point and think, mm, that doesn't look right, but we'll get there. So this has been in the fridge, what, an hour, I think? Um, and you just basically give it a stir. Um, I, I do want to add something. There's something I forgot in here. It's not important now, but when I mix the lime juice, should have put some oil in it. Either olive oil um, or vegetable oil is fine, but just a touch of oil. I haven't, so I'll put a bit extra in the pan. So the pan, I'm heating to medium high heat. I've got electric, which is absolutely crap. Um, but you get this literally smoking hot. You can have it a bit, you can have it even hotter if you want. But I will say this, what you're going to do, when you put this in the pan, you are going to be, it's not something you leave. You are going to stand here and keep at it right away. It's going to take anything between 10 and 20 minutes to cook, depending on how much sauce you've got, depending on how much uh, heat you've got. But basically what we're actually going to do is we're going to put that chicken in there and cook it as hot as we can, stirring it all the while, until every bit of liquid has completely evaporated. And that's the trick. You're gonna literally cook it until it's dry. And that is the point then it goes, as I call it, crispy. And you're basically gonna decide amongst yourselves how far to go, whether you want, you can even do it black. You can really cook it till it's black. And this is why I recommend a very good pan a non-stick really good quality pan because we're actually going to cook it really hot now i'm going to pause this video again and i'm going to start cooking it and i'll probably just do a quick couple of minutes video or a couple of seconds video in between just to show you the stages of where it's at because like i say you will think 
doesn't look right. So that's starting part two. And uh, again, we'll continue in a little while. So just to quickly do the first video, I've probably put this in a little bit early. Um, the pan wasn't hot enough. It won't make a difference. Because like I said, this is very versatile. You can, this is why I like it, because it's easy, you know, you can make mistakes, but it won't make a difference to the finished product. So you literally chuck everything you've got. That's the important part, the sauce and everything. So like I say, you should have probably made this a bit hot, a lot hotter, but it won't make a difference now. I'll just turn, I'm just gonna turn it up to five and get it sizzling. So the object is, is to get it sizzling um, all the time. Um, and like I say, this is why I'm not going to be able to record all the time because I'm going to have to keep literally twisting and turning it. And like I say, you want the pan as hot as you can. Now, as for serving this, um, one of my favourite dishes with this is just a salad. Just a plain salad and maybe some potatoes with it or rice. I'm just going to serve this with some um, special rice. That's all I'm going to do. I'll give you the finished picture at the end. Um, and obviously there's a lot here for me. Um, that is what it is. Living alone, I, I have to have, you obviously buy portions that are way bigger um, than anything. So anyway, I'm now gonna leave that to cook and sit Great. in. You may look at it and think, oh God, that looks awful. But like I say, it works at the end. So again, I'm just gonna pause, but now it's sizzling up. Now we need to keep turning it. And again, this comes back to why you need a really good pan. This pan is like the best thing. I think about 30 quid these are. Back again, um, like I say, you can see it now, it has gone a little more liquidy look. It's a lot more runny. And this is at the point where a lot of people that I've actually, they've asked me for the recipe before, have said it went all runny. But that's right, that's what we want. And now it really is, when we get it to this point, it really is a, a matter of keep staring it. And like I say, the ending of this, how, how crispy and black you want your chicken, Surely how long you leave it in here. Because what happens, you see, here's the trick. Now what will happen, when this was reduced and it starts to just be chicken left in the pan, it still contains oil and the oil starts to come out and that's what blackens it and that's what glazes it. Now you really see it, look, getting runny. Really runny. And again, and I'll keep reiterating, this is where the pan comes into hand. If you've got a crap pan at this point, you'll ruin it. Because the chicken will be sticking, the sauce will just not be runny, and all and everything just sticks to a pan. So I can't reiterate enough, the quality of the pan is going to make a difference to this dish. Just back, because the silly iPhone actually cut off and said I thought I was driving because I was moving. Must turn that feature off. Um, I don't know how this video is going to come out, by the way. I'm using my new iPhone XR. Uh, video features and I'm going to actually try and use the iMovie that's come installed on it. So it might turn out rubbish, it might not, but as long as you get the gist of it, and I will have a few pictures on Twitter as well. So I'm now going to stop the video because I need to get hands on again. Um, you can actually leave it by the way just to simmer like this for a few seconds without stirring. Because after all we're trying to reduce it. And if you have got a good pan, that's when you can leave it to cook like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video now and the next time the video will come back, we should be getting to that point which is the critical point. But as you can see now, it's really going. I'll be back in a minute. Here we are guys, it's back again. I don't think we're near the end yet, but you can actually see it's really going now. And this is exactly what you want. That's what we are getting there. You can see that the reduction's happening. You start to see the, the sauce sticking to the chicken. And that's exactly what we want. So, get in there. And I have turned the electric uh, down just to one notch to four, but uh, like I say, you do need it hot. I might be able to keep this going actually, um, depending on how long it is. One hand is a bit difficult, but because this is a sturdy pan, I might get away with it. I think also, um, what you do have to realise, this is why I think this is so easy for everybody to have a go at. And I hope, by the way, I hope you, anybody that's watching does have a go. And if you do, I want you to show me, tell me, tell me what you think. Um, but you really cannot, you can't break this. You know what I mean? You cannot ruin this. Because the actual trick of it is to overcook it. 
and I actually I've only I've only ever made this for I used to make it for um, me and my ex-wife some years back, but I only ever made this for one party we had, and literally I made like a giant bowl full, um, and it went in about 30 seconds. It actually went that quick. I didn't get any. I literally was turning it into the bowl, packing up, went into the kitchen just to pack the pots away because you've got to clean them. And I went into the kitchen and it's gone. So anyway guys, now look, you're starting to see the magic. This is the magic. All the liquid's gone, or going, but you can also see the oil look. Like I said, it's glistening. So, we're getting there. I know this part of the video is probably a bit long, but I might do some editing. I don't know, I might just chuck the whole thing on YouTube. It's not going to go on uh, Twitter because it's going to be too long. So I might have to do a proper job now. Now you guys have requested it. Can you see it? It's all sticking together. Try and keep it separate. If you can, because we're waiting for that glazing now to start burning onto the chicken. And it smells amazing. And don't forget right at the start, the ingredients you can add to this, you don't have to make it spicy. You can put sweet barbecue sauce in. Put a few different barbecue sauces in though, that's what I do find. As long as you put oil, lime juice, and then put as many barbecue sauces in as you want. But what I will, I will highly recommend that you do add sweet chilli sauce, because it's very mild, but it just adds that, you know, it just adds that nice thing. Now you can see where we're getting now. So what you want in, look, some of the stuff is sticking to the chicken, and that's what we want, because that's now going to get glazed on. Now I might have to pause the video because I've got to get my rice ready but I'm actually going to leave that there I'm going to stop the video come back in a few minutes when we should be right at the end and I'll save it up into my dish over on the left and I'm just going to sort that so back in a minute when obviously this thing should as you can clearly see we're getting there I'm going to cook this one a little bit blacker a bit crispier just so you guys can have a look at how far you want to go I mean you could let me tell you now it's ready now if you want it you want it a bit more runny, a bit more sloppy, you know, there's soft sauce on it, you can go for that. Um, I like it crisping, it's going to start crisping up. So I'm going to stop the video because I need to sort the rice out. And I'll be back in a few minutes, boys. Right guys, we're right at the point now, as you can clearly see. Now this is the point where you make the decision. The smell, by the way, it actually smells burnt, but that's what you're wanting. But now you're getting to see why I call it crispy chicken. Because you now can have it as crispy as you want. You can see the oil just sizzling it and you can separate it and that's why the magic you see works and it's now ready for me because you look at that it's sizzly it's gorgeous it's crispy on parts and again make your own discretion less than this more than this and i've got some nice um just a bit of rice obviously when i pour this into these guys it's going to be way more than i need and i'm not going to eat it all before you all sit there and think oh my god i will leave but what i will say this as well just a bit of a heads up this chicken, you can actually obviously leave it, let it go cold, put it on sandwiches, put it into a salad, eat it cold, it's fine, providing you store it correctly, of course. There we have now, look, I'm going to take it off the heat because it's literally it's done. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm turning the heat off. And that for me, boys, is now done. And you can see all the stuff literally done how you want. Gently pour it onto your rice, wash the pan, which I'm going to do later, and uh, there you have it guys, it's my Tozza's Sweet Chili Chicken. Let me know if you cook it, I'll be really pleased if you do, because a lot of you have asked me to do this for a long time, and I don't know how this video has come out, it might be crap, but uh, yeah, I'm going to eat it, because it looks nice. And like I say, hope you enjoyed it boys and girls, it was a bit on the, on the rough, but uh, yeah. Toz's sweet chilli chicken. See you later.